Hey, what's up guys? Flakeify here, and today I have something very different for you guys. Not a Kuruma video, but rather an Ultimate Team video. I'm doing a squad builder, which I haven't done on my main channel in ages. I've been doing a couple recently on some community channels, and they've gone over pretty well there, so I thought I'd give it a shot on my main channel here. And the squad builder I have for you guys is a 41212 BPL side. I've had a lot of success with it recently, so I thought I'd give it to you guys, and uh, maybe you can try it out. Let me know how it goes, and yeah, just leave a comment if you did enjoy the video but let's get things underway we're going to be going with the manager position first off and we're going to be going with David Moyes picked him up early on in FIFA obviously he's not having the best year there at Manchester United but he'll get the job done for chemistry reasons here for this team and in the net we go with who I believe is to be the best BPL keeper really the two best in my opinion are Czech and Lloris but Czech oh man he has made some crazy saves he's so consistent and he pulls off some crazy saves keeps me in the games more times than not and he is just solid in the back I put on the glove chemistry style because that is my favorite for keepers I prefer that to the cat and I think the wall is the other one but let's move on to the center backs uh, there's a lot of choices for center backs in the BPL but I go with Koscielny and Kabul a bit of a French connection with Arsenal and Spurs and they really do the job well they're pacey 78 pace on Kabul 80 defending and 83 heading and on Koscielny he's got 77 pace 80 defending or an 80 heading, six foot one, medium high work rates, and for the other, six foot three, medium, medium, perfect defenders for me, and they really don't cost too much, both, I think, under 2,000 coins, if I am correct, yeah, both under 2,000 coins, and, you know, I'd rather pay 2,000 coins for them, get very, very strong defenders, than pay maybe 30,000 for company, who I have tried, and I don't see too much of a difference, so, yeah, that's my opinion on defenders, but let's move on to the left back position, we decided to go with Ashley Cole, and on the topic of left backs and right backs, you really don't need the pace there too much because you can stick on the shadow chemistry styles. I'm really looking for left back and right, left backs and right backs who have good defensive stats. 82 defending on him as well as 71 heading. So not the best heading there, but 82 defending is very solid. And with the shadow chemistry style, you'll get the boost to give yourself, uh, you know, I would say right around 80 pace in game and a little bit over 80 defending in game for Ashley Cole. And on the opposite side, we decide to go with, I think I go with Zabaleta. So there's a couple different options you can go here. I think Johnson for Liverpool is another strong defender. Micah Richards also very good, but this guy, again, very good defensive stats and with the shadow chemistry style, or I think I put the catalyst on him just to give him the passing and pace boost. Uh, he's going to give him pace right around 80 or so, which is always good to see. Uh, we're going to be moving on to the center defensive mids here for, uh, first and foremost. And we go with Steven Gerrard, one of my favorite players to use in FIFA 14 because his long shots, guys, they are tremendous. Uh, you can take chances from way outside the box and they're going to be on target. His shot power, I believe it's 99 in game, so very strong there. And a great center defensive mid with the high, high work rates. And not the paciest, but again, you don't need the pace really at the center defensive mid role because he's got the shooting and he's got the passing for sure. Uh, on the left side, we're going to go with the German here, Andre Schürrle. Again, a very strong player for me. And, he, you know, look at his stats. 88 pace, 82 shooting, and 84 dribbling. Four-star weak foot, four-star skills. Medium, medium work rates. Very good in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation. And he's a young guy. I'm really looking forward to see what he can do for the next couple years here at Chelsea, uh, especially ever since he's been transferred from the Bundesliga over to the Premier League. So really a big chance for him to progress as a player and uh, make a name for himself. But on the opposite side, we're going to go with Miralas, the Belgian player that plays for Everton. And again, you can go with a lot of options at the right mid option. I tried playing with Nani. He scored a tremendous goal for me. But Miralas is very good indeed. 88 pace, 85 dribbling, 4-star weak foot, 4-star skills yet again. Uh, similar to the player on the opposite side, Andre Schürrle. And again, you just don't need to pay that much coins for quality players in the BPL. I mean, you've got the high name players. And players like Nani, you know, he's going to be over 10,000 coins, but you can get Miralas, who does the job quite well. But we do spend a little bit on Santi Cazorla right here. I picked him up for 14,500 coins. And the reason I picked him up is due to his passing and dribbling, guys. That is what I look for at the center attacking mid. Players that can create chances and the five-star weak foot, four-star skills is also a plus to have. But let's move on to the striker positions and two players that I have enjoyed so much playing with. We're going to be going with Daniel Sturge from Liverpool, a pacey guy, but he's also pretty good at shooting, pretty good at strength, and pretty good at heading. That's a good combo to have, and he's got four-star skill moves, which is a plus indeed. And to finish the team off, we're going to be going with Ben Teke. 
can't stop him in the box and you guys are going to see in the goals that I have to follow. I think I'm going to do a commentary over the goals actually, something a little different and I might switch that around in some future videos and just put some music in the background some, maybe do some commentary on others, maybe do a live commentary after this commentary. But Benteke, let's talk about him a little bit. 81 heading, that is a lie. He wins so many headers in the air but I think that's due to his height, due to his strength and he's in the right place at the right time more times than not with the medium medium work rates. If he had high medium work rates, I think he would be the perfect striker for me but yeah guys that's gonna bring an end to today's video or at least this portion of the video I'm, again I'll be doing a kind of post commentary over the goals to follow this but I hope you guys did enjoy it and if you did enjoy the video be sure to hit the like button and leave a comment if you are enjoying these ultimate team videos and perhaps uh, let me know what kind of squad you want me to do review and do a squad builder over next other than that guys this has been it for now I'll be talking to y'all in a second all right, guys, we're moving on to the goals. The first goal I have for you is going to be Daniel Serge showing off his pace. And he's going to see two players in the center. Which one's going to get to it? It's going to be Benteke and Benteke picking up a nice little header goal. A little bit slow to get up after the goal, but he does eventually celebrate with the rest of his teammates. Here's going to be Steven Gerrard showing his free kick power, showing his free kick accuracy, and showing why he has been a clutch player for this team throughout the games. Andre Schuller picking up the next goal, just dribbling through the entire defense and eventually finessing it into the far corner very calm finish and a very sweet goal from him here's gonna be Miralos though showing the opposite side I suppose on the right side he's gonna to try to cross it in but Benteke gets the deflection and quickly finesses it by Joe Hart to pick up another goal for himself I think he might have been the top goal scorer for the team but Koscielny's gonna start things off with Santi Cazorla finds Benteke Benteke sees the keeper come out and there is a cheeky little chip just a perfect chip saw the keeper come out and reacted quite quickly from that one. The final goal I've got for you is going to be Santi Cazorla. Another great through ball from him. And Daniel Serge, I believe that was the outside of his foot right there, just powering it by Joe Hart yet again there in the 79th minute. But guys, that's going to bring an end to today's video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Other than that, guys, this has been Flickify. I'll talk to you all again soon.